Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel Grave Visitations here again. So I'm in a beautiful spot today guys. Um, it's off the road and uh, it's hidden away and it's this as you can see behind me here. This beautiful small church and a small little cemetery. But it's surrounded by the scenic views and it's really beautiful and I'll just show you the area so there's this beautiful area here and the views are spectacular and you can just see the the river in the distance there surrounded by all those lovely fields and scenic views and it's a really beautiful place to have a cemetery and just beside the church there's this really old bell here also Which is very cool and gives it that extra feature the old bell and this is the back of the church now there is something in here also I want to see and I presume it's part of an old house that was owned by maybe landowners back in the day. And you can just see the remains of the building here at the back of the church. You can see that old frame there of the window. And then you have this area here and it looks to me like it's a I don't know whether that was it's not a fireplace but it's an old tunnel now I know back in the day these old gentry houses Georgian houses or very old houses used to have these tunnel features in them underneath like could have been a cellar in the house but you can see the remains of the old brick there and the design of what's left of the beautiful old building so I'm going to take you over and show you the cemetery that's adjoined to this beautiful old church here Now, just after coming from the church area behind it and up this pathway here you have this gorgeous statue of Our Lady holding the, the baby in her arms with the magnificent colors on it and isn't that just stunning looking beautiful statue and you can see at the foot of the statue here you have the snake and it looks like a new statue that was erected here but some fine features on it So as, as I said, we'll go inside and we can see the cemetery there. And so yeah, this cemetery is located in a very peaceful spot. 
and it's a small cemetery as you can see with a wall around the perimeter of it so there's only a couple of people buried in this little cemetery but a beautiful peaceful place So let's read a couple of the headstones that's here. So the first one is John Power, who died on the 29th of May, 1990, aged 77 years old. And his wife, Mary, died in 1991, aged 65 years old. and beautiful flowers surrounding this grave here with some photos on it in loving memory of Billy Furlong who died the 15th of July 1993 age 83 and his daughter Mary Travers who died in 2005 age 48 years old and there's also another name underneath the flowers there also his wife, Katie, who died aged 83 years old. And a lovely photo of Katie there and Billy. And on the other side of that then, you have Billy and Katie's daughter who is also buried here, Mary. And a lovely photograph of Mary there with wearing her sunshade glasses, her shades. In memory of ma'am, your presence we miss, your memory we treasure. Loving you always, forgetting you, never. So a beautiful gravesite. And here we have Elizabeth Murphy, who died the 23rd of October 1995, aged 70 years, and her husband Thomas, who died February 2002, aged 86 years old. And we have the red robin there on the picture. We see a lot of the red robins on grave sites in Ireland which is a spiritual sign. And they say when you see a robin, that it's a loved one coming to say hello from the spirit world. And just behind that grave, is Thomas Murphy and Thomas was born on the 12th of May 1950 and he died on the 11th of May 2005 and it's a beautiful headstone with a woman carrying a little boulder in her arms And this gravesite is absolutely gorgeous and I think it's a young child that's buried here. Unfortunately, it's very sad to see the children's graves. You have all those little trees in it. A little bumblebee. And lovely flowers. this gravesite, it's absolutely gorgeous.
there's a little boy lying down and just there you can see a little girl also together and a girl holding a dog on her arms and that headstone is beautiful and it says to know her was to love her Alicia Josephine O'Brien Kavanagh born on the 8th of March 1998 and died on the 29th of October 2007 and is a lovely angel on the headstone what looks like a diamond on it a little blue diamond on the angel love heart it's absolutely gorgeous and it just says down the bottom she concealed her tears but shared her smiles and it's so sad to see young people and graves and someone has left this lovely plaque here in loving memory of a little angel not gone from daddy's memory not gone from mammy's love but gone to shine with Jesus in his beautiful home above. Rest in peace. And that beautiful, beautiful angel on it. On that plaque. And we see the picture of little Alicia here. I'll just zoom in to show you. beautiful little girl may she rest in peace Alicia you're with the angels now and I'd like to get around the other side and try and show you that little statue of the little boy and girl and you can just see the little boy there on the other side like he's pondering her having a think and the little girl just beside that also and you have another little statue here as well and Alicia's grave and looks like maybe a little lamb or something Beautiful headstone. Rest in peace, little angel. Here we have a loving memory of Molly Power, who died the 4th of June 2019, aged 74 years old. And just beside that, baby Lucy Walsh, born the 14th of July 2004, who flew to heaven with the angels. It says, the 31st of July 2004 so another little baby's grave close by and beautiful words on that who flew to heaven with the angels so as I was saying it's just a small little cemetery here but absolutely gorgeous and it's surrounded by that river and those beautiful views and the little church across the way another baby's grave here treasured memories of little angel Mark O'Leary who was born the 31st of January 2006 who earned his wings on the 3rd of February 2006 
and we see little ties left here for Mark. Little train, little cars and tractors and stuff. Anna Darcy died the 1st of July 2017, aged 65. Beautiful flowers there in Anna's grave. More beautiful flowers than this one here. Cherished memories of a loving wife and mother. Susan Rossiter, Nee Larkin, born the 1st of July 1919 and died the 25th of July 2010, and her son Nicholas, born the 11th of September 1952 and died the 13th of December 1980, interred in Leakslip County, Kildare, and her husband William, who was born in 1925 and died in 2000. And 18. A lovely photograph there on the headstone. So it's a beautiful little cemetery and really well kept. The graves are gorgeous, as you can see. All these colourful flowers on them. Philip Murphy, born April 1949 and died in March 2015. And we have more beside that. Richard Gall, born in 1945 and died in 2021. And this is a really nice one here at the back wall of the cemetery. It's a little Celtic cross. And it says, in loving memory of my wife, Trudy Kirsting, mother of Parik and Kieran Redmond, born on the 10th of October, 1952, and died the 6th of January, 2016. No better love has a man than the love of a good wife. And I had a good and loving wife. I am what I am because she loved me forever in my heart because I loved her. Michael Kirsting. And you can see Michael's date of birth on the stone. And Michael is still alive, as you can see there with the inscriptions. So that's a beautiful inscription Michael wrote for his wife and you can just see a picture of Trudy there on the photo so that's a beautiful inscription written for his wife and a beautiful final resting place and we have the crucifix at the back of the cemetery here also made from ceramic, it looks like. So that's that beautiful statue we were looking at before we came in also of Our Lady there. Another grave here. And here we have a loving memory of Desmond Murphy who died the 25th of May, 2000, aged 20 years old, and his mother, Margaret, died the 12th of October, 2017, aged 62. I'll just try and show you a photograph of Desmond and the headstone there. Only 20 years old, Desmond, so sad. Rest in peace.
So they're all beautiful graves here in the cemetery. It's only a small cemetery, but they're well looked after. All these graves are beautiful. Husband and father, Christopher, Joseph, Lubby, born the 19th of August, 1929, and died the 16th of January, 2002. Look at those gorgeous yellow roses and the flowers on it. And here we have the green stones, like emerald green stones. Martin Kavanagh, who died the 10th of May 1988. Also his father, Richard, who died the 23rd of September 1963. And just behind the flowers, it says, interred in old cemetery. Also his mother, Annie, who died in March 1992, age 77. So you can just see all the colourful graves and all the lovely flowers on them. Ellen Butler died 17th of May 1991, aged 70. Also her husband Patrick died in June 1996, aged 76. And their daughter Elizabeth Codd, who died in July 2017. So everybody, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. And uh, for me, grave visitations in this beautiful scenic area and cemetery here in County Wexford. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you all on the next Grave Visitations video. Take care guys.